right y'all got my crate and xl out it's been a minute since i've had this joker out i don't know what's up with it if anything's broke i went over the car real quick it looked good if you're interested in what i got going on with this truck make sure you stick around to the end and i'll go over the car in full detail finally got some decent weather man it's the first time i've seen the sun in four days God, finger don't fit in the hole, y'all. Got Band-Aid on it. God! Fence! I had five feet of room. Those are the worst landings right there. This is like beautiful weather, y'all. 55 degrees outside. I'm dressed for like the Antarctica. Oh shit. Almost got took out, y'all. Over the sun, I think. I don't know why I keep having to tap the brake like that. I don't like that, man. Something ain't sounding right. Or oh, those CVDs are jamming up. Pull trigger pull. I don't like how I'm having to hit the brakes, man. Car acting funny. Not the salami. See, I had to hit him again. Oh, what's going on? Something's up. The CVDs were popping up. I guarantee you I just ejected one. I don't know what's up, man. I haven't been able to get a full run in two days. Yep. I need a new cup. Alright y'all, I got that joker fixed. I couldn't wait until tomorrow. I ripped that diff out and just put a new cup on it. Oh yeah. Finish this pack out, baby. Not standing here. <laughs> I couldn't even see it. Damn sun. Who uses that as an excuse, man, for crashing? I know there's somebody out there that does that. Let me know in the comments, y'all, if you like these uh, sunset rips. All right, that dude with that blower better chill out. I ain't hitting that jump no more, y'all. I can't do it. I gotta fix it. It rained the past couple of weeks. It tore it up pretty good. Jesus. Why is those front CVDs cracking when I hit the jump? Uh, I tightened up my preload on the back. Wondering if that's doing it. Pushing the front down harder. Get you some of oh, that nose stuffer. I don't know what just happened, but she lost power when I hit the ramp. Why do I keep calling it a ramp? Power for days, baby. Power for days. Oh shit, oh shit. Ah. Uh. Oh God, I thought that was gonna go out of the property. I gotta get rid of these band-aids on my fingers, y'all. I can't hit the buttons. Handicap with this finger. I think I'm kidding. Got one there, got two on this hand. Got some dirty hands, y'all. I'm a working man. <laughs> Get you some of the Salami's Band-Aids. My car's rolling backwards, what's going on? Get you some. 
It's a Lamy's new style. Oh, when I rebuilt this diff just now, I put a hundred in the in the front. Ooh. That's how Miss Daisy drives, ain't it? Yeah, baby. I set this car up a little different too just now. Over the sun. If you notice, it's handling a lot better, driving straighter. I'll explain what I did after the run. Gotta work on them shocks. Can't be having that bouncy bounce. I get enough bouncy booty at nighttime. Yeah, wife number one must have heard me talking. No water. Missed the jump. Go figure. Yeah, we gotta do some track maintenance. It's been a while. LVC, baby, you! All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this run. I made it work. Destroyed my body, but I will fix that body because I can still run that. I'll just patch them that front up. It still looks good from the side. All right, y'all. Till next time, peace. What's up, y'all? That's our Florida weather for you, baby. Got the fire burning, dressed like an Eskimo. Anyway, no damages to speak of. Just low volting. I checked it. It's like 266 per cell. So max six ESC. It was at 135. The 4985 1650 Hobby Wing. It was at 138. So I mean, my temps were excellent. Custom RC upgrade center shafts. Pretty awesome. M2C chassis. Chassis braces. The rear tower support. Yeah, baby. Crate and towers front and rear. Actually, these are fire team towers front and rear that's why the rear tower brace don't fit right i mean it fits just sticks up a little bit you could cut that off if you wanted but why who's gonna see it when i'm going like 100 miles an hour in the air right you guys have been asking about this wing mount from rpm the new design this is just one of the cars i have it on and it's it's solid it's probably the best wing mount in 2022 hands down Roger Dodger 3D printed bumper support. I do like those for the bumper supports and I'd like the 3D printed 8S stuff, but not the 3D printed wing. Too flimsy. You'd think they could make them a little bit stronger. This truck is, it's not too crazily built. Hot racing hubs in the front, stock ones in the back, stock arms, M2C, ZRS shock setup. I think I'm running 80 CST front and rear. I'm probably gonna go to like 90 and put VG racing springs on this truck. I think she'd be golden. 45 kilogram servo. What else? That's pretty much it, y'all. Stock bulkhead in the front. A Vitavon bulkhead in the rear. MTC outdrive cups, all three corners. I'm running an old Just Bash It servo mount, but I'm probably gonna upgrade that to the Basher Queen one, along with MTC's new Beefcake top steering plate. Yeah, it's pretty solid, y'all. Good truck. Almost forgot to tell you, that's the um, outdrive cup, what's left of it. No, it's nice, I got silicone all over my hands. All right, what I did this time is I even my front suspension, I don't know what they're called, pins for the um, angle of the dangle. In my mind just went brain farted. Anyway, I normally run all three pins in the rear and lay this thing forward. Um, but what I did this time is I put two little ones in the front and one in the rear. I believe that's how they come stock. I can't remember because I always change them and put all three in the rear, always. But I did that and I put 100 in the front diff instead of 60. I think that made a big difference holding the car straight. But I also think these little tabs made a difference too. Pretty much later straight and center instead of laying it forward or back all right y'all hope you guys enjoyed it make sure y'all subscribe hit that notification bell it helps the channel out and uh we'll catch you all in the next one peace